Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. Hey guys. And welcome to an extra special, almost extraterrestrial episode <laughs> of Massey, Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. This is our introduction to the Planetary series that we're doing with the talented, wonderful, beautiful Mina Villegas Art. So every time we do one of these episodes, we're going to take either a real planet or a sci-fi planet, one right. from fiction, and we're going to recreate the, those planets in some pores. Exactly. Today we're doing real planets. Show pony. Yes. Which one are you going to do? I'm doing Mercury. Ah. Yes. Now, I think that's one of the hottest of the planets, right? Or am I wrong? It is a hot planet, but it's not one of the hottest. Okay, tell me it some... Is, it is the closest planet to the sun, so which makes it hot. Ah, tell me yes. some more fun things about Mercury. Um, it's the closest planet to the sun. Right. It doesn't have any moons or rings. Oh, wow, okay. Um, and it's the smallest planet. So one year on Mercury is only 88 days. That would mean you would be almost 200 years old. <laughs> I feel almost 200 years right? old. Right? <laughs> Thank God we're not on Mercury. <laughs> yes. You'd be a cradle robber. You okay. know, and unfortunately, nobody knows who discovered Mercury. Huh. Yeah. Really? So isn't that interesting? Yeah. Someone must have claimed it at some point. I know, I know. But nobody knows who, who discovered Mercury, That's which is crazy. interesting. All right. Well, I love that. Thank you for those fun facts. You are very welcome. I'm going to do Jupiter. Ooh. Yeah, I'm really excited about this one. Oh, wow. So, for everyone out there that knows Jupiter, some things that you might know are that it's massive. Huge. As in, that you could actually combine the mass of all the other planets, and it would be two and a half times that mass. Oh my gosh, it's wow. It's humongous. Um, it does have rings. It has 67 moons in total. Yes. So it's moontastic as well. Now, the red spot that you see on Jupiter, Ooh, and yeah. you'll definitely see it on the picture that we'll show you and have shown you, is a storm. But it's been spinning, and a cyclone and a storm has been spinning for more than at least 350 years. Because we found it back in the 17th century. Oh, wow. So this thing, this storm cloud has been just spinning and, and rotating for a very long time. Wow, which is crazy. super cool. And there was a telescope, a, a satellite that actually went to see it and get real close to it in 1979. So anyone actually there that's really interested in it, go check out some of the photos that were taken from that storm cloud too. That's amazing. Right. And the last fun thing that I think about Jupiter is you can actually see it with your own eyes. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's actually a planet, because it is so massive, that you can actually just stare up at the sky and see Jupiter too. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I love it. So, there you have it, folks. A little bit about Mercury, a little bit about Jup Jupiter. Jupiter. <laughs> so why don't you come and see and watch us try and recreate and be inspired by those planets. Yes. Should have said this. This is inspirational. Yes. So um, we're not necessarily always going to try and recreate what we see. We might take color palettes. We might take, you know, something from the actual planet itself that makes yeah. us want to pull. So it's inspired by these planets. Yes, exactly. However, I think I'm going to go a little bit more literal. We'll see. Well, I'm going more fantasy. Oh, I like yes. it. Okay. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I have to tell you about today's auction. Yes. It's going to happen at 4 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Central, 7 o'clock Eastern. And it's an auction of 48 pieces. It's actually 47 lots because two pieces are together in one lot. Yeah. And everything is going to start at $1. Now, you don't have to bid in $1 increments. You can bid whatever you want. But the plan is that you just outbid the person that bid before yes. you. And um, shipping charges are all stated on the actual, both in the auction preview and when we show you the auction pieces later on today. Yes. Unfortunately, due to customs when we ship to Canada and the expenses of shipping, and then the expensive amount of shipping that it costs to send things internationally, this one is just going to be open to the United States. Yeah. Unless you've contacted us before, let us know that you bid in, we've talked about shipping, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you guys know who you are. So please come and join us for that at 4, 6, and 7. Uh, depending on which time zone you're in, because it's going to be a lot of fun. Yes, it's going to be a blast. All right, let's get to this planetary series. Super excited about this one. I'm really interested to see what Mina gets up to, too. I know, I know, I know. I'm really excited to see what Mina does. All right, let's get to that table. Let's get pouring these planets. All right. 
Hey guys, it is Jeremy here and I'm really excited about this. As you can see, I have my 18 by 18 wooden mm -hmm. round yep, yep. and I've guessoed it. It is not taped on the back or else I'd pick this up and show it to you. Um, it's on some cups that we have here and uh, I'm really excited about this pour. We guess out this just to close the wood grain. Yes, because these, exactly. Because these things have a habit of like soaking up the paint. Yes. So we wanted to get a little barrier on that. Yeah, first. and when it soaks up the paint, you can actually see like the striations of the wood Absolutely. in it when it dries. Yeah, so grain. exactly what you were saying. Yeah. Um, so, but let me introduce you guys to my colors here. And what planet is it you're doing again? <sighs> oh, that's right. I am doing Mercury. Okay. Yes, and I got really in inspired by this uh, picture that I saw from the Hubble telescope that made it just so vibrant and alive. Um, so now that you see this, what it looks like, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my colors, which I chose. Mm. Um, I made, I took this Artist Loft Neon Blue, I mixed it with some white and came up with this gorgeous baby blue color here, which is just stunning. Lee helped me out with that. That's pretty. Thank you. And then I took Dioxazine Purple, um, Cobalt Blue Hue by Goldens, Metallic Blue by Artist Loft, and Dioxazine Purple by Master's Touch, Thick Body Acrylics. And I came up with this incredible, like, purpley blue bliss color like it's just so gorgeous and there's a definitely a sparkle in there because you had a metallic it is definitely too. a sparkle in there mm -hmm. sparkles love it and um then i took this nico azo gold mixed it with some of this burnt sienna by arteza and a little bit of white and came out with this lovely goldenish kind of tanny color which is just stunning um which i thought would be great and then of course i have the deco art metallics uh 24 karat gold mm -hmm. and you've just got a normal white and i got a normal white here too by a uh, master touch acrylic so the reason why we've mixed these colors is because we're using the inspiration of the picture exactly right exactly. and clearly we wanted to try and replicate some of those color exactly palettes. Yeah. exactly so um yeah i got really inspired by those colors you guys i think they're just stunning so i'm really interested to see how this is going to turn out i'm going to be doing an open cup um, to get like some of that really galaxy-ish mm. kind of planetary vibe going on on my on my round. Interesting. Yeah, so um, I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna go ahead and flood my canvas. Perfect. Um, and then we can go ahead and get started. Love it. Okay guys, so I got my base coat down and it was nice and creamy and that's all because of the mix that I mix mixed it with. Pour. Mix pour. Um, this stuff is great. I just absolutely love this stuff. It makes it so creamy. So, so let me just talk a little bit about mix. Okay. So you can get this from Krista8974 at gmail.com. Yes. It's a wonderful pouring medium and that means that you don't need to have Floetrol and Liquitex gloss medium in your pores. Yes. You just add this thing in and it makes it so thick and creamy, just like the show pony said. And in fact, some of the colors, especially the ones that Jeremy makes, like the Goldens, for example, we had to add a little bit of water, water just to thin it down. Yeah. The metallics and the pills, you don't need to. All right, guys, love that mix. Now let's get to painting. Let's do it. Put this in the center here. I think that's kind of, that's pretty much in the center there. Let's see. Okay. Right, something like that. Um, it's kind of hard to get it directly like in the center. Right. Um, I am going to start out with. Do you need to look at your picture again? Are you good? I'm good. Okay. Yeah, you got I'm it in good. your mind. Yes, I have it in my mind's eye. Okay. Now I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to pour a little bit of white first. Okay. Around the edges. Yeah. Cool. Just help anchor that Just cup. Just help a anchor that cup a little bit. Pour a little bit of white in the center. Just a touch. Hmm. Now I'm going to pour about six inches, seven inches high. I'm going to dirty that a little bit. 
it wasn't a lot of paint you put in there, but I guess it's, no. it is that because you're just not wanting it to overpower. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, and then I'm going to go in with... Just a little bit of that, because I know that mm -hmm. this is going to overpower. Now, let me just do a quick calculation for you. So 18 by 18, if it was a square canvas, would need 11 ounces of paint. Um, so that's just something for you to keep in mind. Okay. Because with an open cup, I feel like we both tend not to put enough paint on the canvas. That little pot that's on there, I think is a five ounce pot. So if it were just a straightforward rectangular canvas, you would be filling this cup twice. Yeah, exactly. So just for you to keep that in mind. Oh yeah, I'm gonna pour. Like I'm gonna... You're gonna keep pouring. I am going to keep pouring. Okay. Lovely, lovely. I see that blue coming through the bottom of the cup already. Already, right? And how gorgeous is that coming out right there? Okay guys, so I got my cup off of there. I'm loving what's happening. I'm loving these colors together. I can't wait to see what's gonna happen with the gold cells. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get to you. Tilting time. It's tilting time. Okay, you guys, I couldn't be more excited and happy about this. I love it. Amazing. You know, is it just like that picture? No. Did it come out beautiful? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you've definitely got the essence yeah, of that planet. Totally. If, if I'll show everyone that picture at home again, the picture that you found of Mercury yeah. has these like little like like bursts of yeah. brightness on it. And you've definitely got that. You've captured Thank the essence you. of the colors. Yeah, I really enjoy it. And I love how it looks like there's like these whole lines are just movement through it. It just, it makes, I think it makes the planet come alive right here. Well, there you go. I think it's absolutely stunning. I hope you guys like it. I love it. Can't wait to hear your comments on it in the comment section. And let's go ahead and torch this baby, get my edges and take you in for a close up. Let's take you in for a planetary landing. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, ladles and jelly spoons, it is Lee here. Um, it is my turn to have a go at this wonderful planetary series that Mina Villegas and Matty Art Studios have come up with. Yeah. And I'm gonna do Jupiter, as I've already explained. You've seen a picture of it, I'll keep flashing it up here as well so you know what I'm trying to do. Um, I also am inspired by the colours. I'm going to try and kind of get some kind of composition that's very similar. We'll see what we can do. But I'm going to mainly do ribbon pours because I just think that the lines of Jupiter kind of really play to a ribbon pour this yeah, time around. Yeah, absolutely. So I have a lot of colours because there is a lot of like, you know, different bands that I'm going to do. Let me talk you through them real quick. So I've got golden quinacridone nickel azul gold. I've got Golden Quinacridone Burnt Orange. We've got Deco Art Metallics 24 Karat Gold Pearl. Then I have the Master's Touch Thick Body Acrylic Orange. Love. Then I have Arteza Pearl Marmalade. Ooh. Arteza Burnt Sienna. Arteza Cerulean Blue. Ooh. And then Liquitex Basics yellow oxide so all very much like yellows and oranges and then some pops of blues for this for this jupiter inspired pour all right jeremy so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to do the top and bottom of jupiter and that's definitely more brown tones which okay. is why i've got that burnt sienna here okay and i'm going to do ribbon pours so i've got a cup and I'm gonna mix this heavy on the burnt sienna. I'm gonna put some layers of white in it and then a little bit of the pearl marmalade. Okay. okay. So that's what we're gonna do here in this cup. And I'm not dirty pouring, I'm actually gonna layer. Just like you do on your marbling pour and try and kind of create layers on top of each other. Now I don't mind if they mix ever so slightly. That is not going to bother me one bit. But the plan here is to get a layered cup of the colours lying on top of each other. So this is the pearl marmalade. And I'm going to sandwich that one in between pearl white. And then this is the burnt sienna again. A little bit more white. Squidge more of the marmalade. I'll be using that one later, but I'm not going to be using the burnt sienna. I don't believe. So that is going to be for my top and bottom, the North Pole and the South Pole, if you like, if it were to have one, of Jupiter. Hmm, okay. Literally tops and bottoms. All right, North Pole, South Pole. That's the way we're going. All right, sir. So let's rib and pour this one onto the canvas. I'm going to keep what's left in that cup because I may well use it. You never know. All right, next I'm going to mix a blue cup. So this blue is going to form some of the bands of blue colour. Um, but there's a really big blue band in the middle, which I'm going to come back to next. So I'm going to just layer a fairly small cup this time round. And uh, this time we're going to use cerulean. I love that. It's such a beautiful blue. Some of the... This is actually a colour I didn't mention. It's Pearl Glacier. Some baby blue. Which we mixed ourselves using white and cerulean. 
some pearl. Let's go in with some more cerulean. Excuse me. Yeah. Some more glacier. And some more baby blue. All right. Two thin bands next to the North Pole and the South Pole is kind of what I'm going for next. Let's do this. All right, okay. So next, I'm gonna do a thicker layer. This time, it's gonna be a more orangey set of brown. So I'm gonna use some more of the pearl marmalade, but this time I'm gonna use some of that wonderful nickel azole also. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. So now the thick blue band. All right, so I'm gonna just tilt this backwards and forwards just a little bit. I'm so scared about doing this. But let's tilt it just to make sure that everything on this canvas is covered and make sure I don't have too much blooming paint. Tilt and time. Oh my gosh, I didn't even say that because I'm so nervous. All right, there's one thing left to do, and that is this really wonderful circular kind of cloudy kind of cratery thing that I've spotted on Jupiter right here. So what I'm gonna do is take a tiny, tiny shot glass, and I'm gonna layer this with the orange and a little bit of some of the darker browns, and I'm gonna do just one little ring pour right here. All right, to say I'm nervous here is an understatement because I currently love what is happening on this blooming wood round. And I feel like I've now got the possibility of absolutely messing this one up. But you know what? <laughs> nothing ventured, nothing gained. And I feel like it's really important to get this like cloudy little thing on here. So this is where I'm gonna do it. We're separating the brown and the blue areas of Jupiter right here. Let's get to pouring, see what happens. It's not quite as orange as I was hoping it was gonna be, but I don't hate it. Now I'm just gonna stretch it out, just left and right. I think you could even use a straw to blow it. You know what I'm saying? Like a cloud. Yeah, blow it like a little bit more out. Okay. 
All right, Show Pony had a really great idea. I do love this, like, you know, the ring effect that, he get, that I'm getting, but I want to try and kind of make it more like an eye shaped. So I'm going to use my straw and just blow this one out a little bit. <laughs> that was my happy dance. Um, I blooming love this. I went a lot more literal with this than I was really thinking I was going to need to, but I really, really, really love it. It's a, and it's absolutely stunning. Thank you, Show Pony. I appreciate that. So here's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to grab all my edges, make sure that everything is gotten from the sides of this canvas, and then I'm going to torch this one off real quick, and then we'll take you in for a close up. Yes. Thank you, guys. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. What did you think? I thought it was amazing. I loved it. <laughs> yeah, All right, tell me too. about Mercury. Mercury, oh my gosh. So I was inspired by that picture from mm -hmm. the, the Hubble telescope that was taken. Beautiful. Yeah, which was absolutely incredible with the blues and everything, golds and all through it. Right. And, um, and that's where I got my color palette from. But I loved what happened on that Those round. Owls. It was crazy. Oh, just incredible, yeah. Yeah, I love the fact that you took inspiration from a color palette, turned yeah. it into something different, but it was still very galactic. Yeah, thank Cells you. Cells looked like little planets all Yeah, it was just incredible. I loved it. Yeah, well done, you. Chopin. What about hey? yours? I love this. <laughs> Guys, I was so excited about this one. I danced at the end of this pour. Yes. Um, yeah, I, I didn't start off thinking I'm going to go super, super literal. But as I was pouring it, the colors were just doing everything that I wanted them to do. And thank you for the assist on blowing out my little storm cloud. Because I really wanted to kind of create that, like, that eye shape, that elliptical yeah. shape um, of the storm cloud, which, which... I just loved, I really, really enjoyed this one. It came out exactly, you know when you do something and it's just exactly as you wanted it to be? You just hit the mark. I did, yeah. yeah. There was in, I was in the pouring zone. The planetary gods of pouring were looking down on me. So we hope that you enjoyed this one as much as we did. Absolutely. It was a heck of a lot of fun. Next, we're gonna go up and check out to see what Mina's doing. Um, I know that she's got two paws. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna tell you what she's doing, although I do know. Um, but <laughs> I, I don't even know. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> I, but I do want it to be a surprise. Um, but I've seen these pictures and they're fabulous. Oh, okay. Yes, it's gonna be a heck of a lot of fun. So let's all go over and join Mina at her table and see what she gets up to. All right. Hopefully we'll see you back on the channel a bit later on this evening to get some pieces in our auction. Like and subscribe. We'll see you all later. Bye guys. Have a great evening and let's go over to Mina. So we want to take a moment to spank. Spank? <laughs> <laughs> spank some very special. <laughs> <laughs> We want to take a moment to thank some very special people. Absolutely. And that's our Patreons. Patreons. So the Patreon account is a very separate account from YouTube, mm -hmm. but it allows some very important people the opportunity to get a little bit of a closer look of the studio. And there are certain levels. So at one level, for example, you get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos. Mm -hmm. At another level, you're invited to join us in a WhatsApp group where we chat, we exchange pictures, and you also get weekly painting challenges. In another level, you get um, once a month live streams. At another level, you get once a month tutorials that are live. Yes. And then at our top tier, the diamond level, you would get to pick the colors and the technique for an episode of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. And then you get to keep one of the 11 by 14 inch canvases every single month. So there are some people that we would very much like to thank, and that's our Massey Posse, yes. or the MPs as we like to call them. So at the gold level, we've got Mary Doulas, 
We've got Amy Gardner, AKA Crafty Chicken Mom. Crafty Chicken Mom. We've got Linda Serian. We have Nate Bright. Gloria Salaki, who we like to call Glitzy. We've got Terry Leshner. We've got Donna Patterson, Stephanie Hancock, and Trisha West. Now, at the platinum level, we have Donna Panis, we have Janice and Steve Pittman, and we have Leslie Beaver. And at our diamond level, our one and only, you all know her, you will all love her, we do too, <laughs> it is Sparkles. Sparkles. Lori Finzer is our diamond pourer. So to all you guys and everyone else that's listed down below, thank you so very much. We really do genuinely appreciate you wanting to be a Patreon and a Massey Pora. And uh, yeah, we look forward to sharing more of this journey with you all. Thank you guys. Thanks guys.